Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Dr. Kajetan Obin Nachuku. I'm from Nigeria and also a partner and a son to Dr. Wilson Dayo. So I come to this program to explain what we do, what we can do to help the humanity. So we believe so much in herbs and roots. So this afternoon, I want to present a product, a teaching that can help you to make your market boom. Number one, we have um, you get sugar, that's cube sugar. Are you done in bath? Okay, cube sugar. You, get, you need four items to make up the spiritual soap. You get a lox, seven pieces of lox. You must make sure that the soap is white. So when you get the lox, you get a sea water a water from the sea. So you get a camphor. In Nigeria, we call it kafura, which is a, which is a camphor. So you get the items. When you got it, first of all, you pound that, pow that sugar, that cube sugar, in a mortar. After pounding the sugar in a mortar, you add that soap. So you mix the sugar, the, the, the dust of the sugar with that soap, that uh, log soap, and you pound it. After pounding that, you use that sea water to mix up the soap. So it's very good for anything business booming, market. People that have product that their product is not selling, it will help their product to sell. That is number one package I have. For those of us that are suffering from infertility, we still have a solution for them. Like some men that are suffering from infertility or some women that are suffering from infertility. So we have a very good solution for them. So, we have one or two things we are going to bring together that can help them. If it is a woman, you are having infertility problem, you are having series of miscarriage, or issue in terms of infections, there are things you need to be done that will make it to be okay. Number one, in Nigeria, in Africa, we have what we call fertility leaf. We have, we call it Ogrish in our own village. So you get the fertility leaf. You got it like a, a huge quantity. So you got alligator pepper, like two bunch. You get ginger like two bunch. You are going to pound that alligator pepper and the ginger and to extract, you put small water to extract the juice of both of them. You use it to cook that infertility leaf. So put enough water on the leaf when you are cooking it and you will cook it with a native pot. After cooking, just carry the thing put on top of the table. Don't allow it to touch ground. So, you allow it to cool. Last thing in the night before you slept, you take one cup. Early in the morning before you talk to anybody, you take another cup. You'll be taking it like that for 14 days, if it is a woman. So if it is a man, you'll be taking it like this for 16 days. So that is for infertility solution. 
So we still have some series of things you can do. So we still have some series of things, like people that have infections. So people that are having movements in the body. People that are suffering from arthritis. We still have some roots. You can use the same camphor and ginger. So you get a, comfort, a quantity of camphor. You get a ginger. You get a neem, back of neem, which is dogoyaro. Every one of us knows dogoyaro. So you bring them in a quantity place. You get a purple root, put them in a clean pot, and cook it like 45 to one hour. After cooking, you extract the water out in a rubber. So you keep it to cool. So you'll be taking it. It's a very good solution for infection and arthritis. So we still have people that are suffering from hepatitis. We have a strong solution for them. So you get mango leaves and the back. You get um, purple leaves at the same time. You get gova leaves. That is about four leaves I mentioned. So you cook them with a clean water. So allow it for three days to ferment. After that three days, you get a lemon juice to pour inside the cooking substance. So the person will be taking it for hepatitis and it will give you a strong result. So we still have for people, we have solution for people that are suffering from stroke. Though normally stroke have different dimensions. Some is a normal thing, some are spiritual things. So if it is a normal thing, we still have solution for that. We have a strong spiritual soaps we can give you to cleanse yourself and some oil, some products you can use to make sure that you clean yourself before you start, you start taking the food treatment. So number one, you have to take a spiritual bath to clean yourself if it is a spiritual problem. But if it is a normal soap, a normal stroke, we can start, we can start giving drugs immediately. So we have some things you can do on your own to prevent those strokes. You get what we call shea butter. For our own side, we call it ori. Ugume ori. So we get it. When you get it in a larger quantity, you get fresh gova leaves. You get ginger. You get unripe purple. Just wash it very well. Slice that unripe purple in a small, small quantity. So after cutting it, so you pound it with that shea butter and that gova leaves. So then you pound it, you allow it like um, three, four days for the thing to ferment before you can now pack it in a container. So no matter the level of the strokes, even if the thing touches the brain, so when you use it to rub the body in the night and take your normal bath, you notice that the thing will be subsiding small, small. You do it like that for complete three weeks. So the stroke, no matter how level it is, the stroke will be normal. So if there's any other thing that caused it or spiritual attacks, so it's something we can run on our own to make sure that everything goes normal. So that is for people that have strokes. So if we still have solution for people that have diabetics, that's sugar level, some of us, due to the food we ate and other things, can increase our sugar. So some of us, the diabetes can come through spiritual or any other thing. So if we have a patient like that, we still have natural solution to that, which 
we have already prepared them. We can also teach you the first aid, what you can do to prevent the sugar. So what you need to do on that first aid is that you have to get scent leaf, you have to get bitter leaf, you have to get that camphor. You get camphor like nine bunch, soak that camphor with any juice of your choice. Allow the camphor to melt inside it. You now squeeze those leaves. When you squeeze those leaves, you add it with the water of that camphor. Allow it for four days to ferment. You'll be taking it in a cup one morning, one night, every day, for nine days. So I believe, by the power of God, your sugar level will come normal. Okay. I'm about to round up, so I thank every one of you for listening. May God guide and protect every one of us. Amen.